most people don't understand that we look at discipline like it's a chore. It's really not. It's fundamental. It's common denominator for all types of success on all levels. All right? Like, how do you know your mom loves you? Like, how do you know your mom loves you? She say it sometimes, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Once in a while. You know what I'm saying? You know your mom loves you because she puts your priority above her own Sacrifice. well-being. Sacrifices. Every single day since you was born, she Facts. fed you, cleaned you. When you were sad, when, when you got beat up at school because maybe you said something wrong to the wrong person, <laughs> she was there the whole time. Her actions is what shows you that, and that's discipline. So discipline is order. Order is love. You know what I mean? So you, how you live your life and how, what you do every single day lets me know <laughs> what you prioritize Blanco. and what your values are. Nigga, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Blanco. Yo, me and Blanco did the same face. Blanco did this. And I'm like, damn, that's so tough. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? So like, yes, sir. This yeah, nigga is like, <laughs> Tycoon, it's a lifestyle. So like you say, you don't spend time on minor issues. And you could put that, you could put that into play or perspective and every aspect of life like. oh yeah yeah that's what we do we teach life we don't teach money we mm, don't study or teach like money that. we teach life and obviously money is part of life so in studying life you learn to improve in a lot of areas i like how you cook personal that. <laughs> i like how you cook that yeah, you know, yeah. in your family life personal relationships physical and mental health we know that's big you know what i mean so the finances yeah it plays a role but it's life life is art not numbers so we don't teach numbers mm. yeah okay well, he came to play. I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't. He came to play. I, I wanted to see if he was uh, <laughs> pretty interesting. <laughs> oh, so I've been, oh, been keeping his Twitter. I wanted to see if he was going to bring that same energy because he be talking heavy on that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Facts. 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 yeah. Facts. Before I continue, let me just make a disclaimer. There is nothing wrong with trading stocks or Forex in general by itself. Okay? I agree. Definitely Technically, true. Yeah. I, look, the more money everybody make, the more money we make. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The reason why? is because technically traders kind of work for us. They don't know that yet. Your money always go back to businesses. It doesn't matter how you get it, whether it's nine to five, mm-hmm. whether it's trading stocks or Forex. You depend on businesses to live. You can have money or not have money. You're spending money regardless because life is expensive. Yeah. 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 Definitely. You true. know what I mean? So we're playing chess at the highest level. Boy dropping gems, man. Let me get some <laughs> motherfucking coins, bro. <laughs> we're playing chess at the regardless. highest level. Regardless. So. Don't, don't ask for no more coins, though. Yes. Now... <laughs> So my definition of what an investor is, is wisely deploying your money to work for you without you working for that money. Mm. Now, the difference is, as a trader, do you make money if you don't trade? No. Do you make money if your laptop or your phone breaks or your Wi-Fi connection is out? Sure. Because they can't play with the (laughs) pips. On the street. No disrespect. (laughs) What you doing about pips? Yeah. (laughs) No disrespect. No disrespect. You're in Airbnbs. (laughs) Generally speaking, too, do you, you know, do you sleep and make money as a trader? In, in some ways, yeah, but generally, do you sleep and make money as a trader? I say no. So therefore, even if you just, like as you alluded to, pips, you set in your, your put options, swing mm-hmm. trading, you have to do something in order for that money to, come to actually come back around, mm-hmm. okay? That's why I say when investing is art, not numbers. We sleep and we make money. We don't invest in money. We invest in people and businesses. Business. So that's what I enjoy doing the most and helping people understand the differences and, and, you know, really putting that in simple terms for everybody to kind of be part of the game. The average American spends $300 on Black Friday and $1,000 on the holiday uh, season, season in general. Right? Yeah. You know what I mean? So it just mm-hmm. comes with a, a certain perception mentality of like, okay, we view spending as investing and investing as spending. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? So, mean? Right. So I've spent thousands of dollars on books alone. And you guys, like, you know, like James said, for the last five years and change, I've been reading books like I breathe air. I've spent, and the, the, the thousands I spend on the books has helped me become the asset that I am, not just mm. for myself. I could have just been like, you know what, I'm good, I got it, y'all can figure it out. Mm-hmm. You yeah, know, but I've become an asset, like asset for myself and for everybody it's else that I come in like touch that, with. So I've, I've yeah, been providing so yeah. value like crazy mm-hmm. without monetizing it yet. And you know, the website is on the way, so the services is here as well. So yeah, we're looking to really um, get in touch with more people and help others solve their problems. So yeah, you gotta man. continue to pour into yourself so you're able to pour into others. Exactly. Definitely. First bad. of all, look, the, we all know this. Life teaches us that, right? The lottery one is probably generally not really yeah. the one that's mm-hmm. winning. Okay. When you have it, you don't have to tell everybody, "Hey, I got it." When you mm-hmm. have it, you move with a certain, you know, humility, certain gratitude, and you move like it's art. You you respect people differently. Okay, the ones that are talking, it's a lot of people that are talking, but they have been in the investment world mainly 2020, right? 
desperate times, desperate measures. People mm -hmm. change one of two ways, by inspiration or by desperation. And right now, with COVID, a lot of the problems we're facing, it's a lot of desperation this nigga, here. This nigga Buffy going to 40 right now, bro. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. a lot of desperation. <laughs> He's borrowing his own. He's <laughs> going <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Ladies, wow. We are only 10 minutes into the episode, <laughs> Man, and this look, brother is dropping jam sorry, upon I, jam I, upon jam. Ladies and gentlemen. It's just so much, Desperation or inspiration. Yeah. And it's not a, it, look, the real ones you know is not a script. That's fact. The real ones you know is not a script. This is not something I just read in a book or, you know, somebody mm -hmm. told me to come tell y'all. This is my life. Like, this tycoon lifestyle is my life. Yeah, you just you just keep your vision strong and you keep going at it. Man, yo, anybody out there that's doing something that's different that most people may not know or believe in you just yet or keep see the going. value, keep yo, going, don't man, stop. Bro. Because yeah, don't stop. the worst thing you can do is just stop. But by default, most people are normal by default. So mm -hmm. don't start there. You know what I mean? Like, go for it. If, if it doesn't go well or whatever, you end up normal. Because I know we definitely had this conversation in the chat this week in our group chat about, um, you know, the the thin line between success and failure is, you know, giving up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's good to know you don't have to go through everything by yourself or, like, alone yeah. or you have somebody, you, you know, that you guys are checking on each other, making sure you're both good. And then when you get good news or something good happening in your life, what do you want to do? Tell somebody. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, you want to mm -hmm. tell you know what I'm you want to so the person you love. Yeah. Your yeah. Yeah. You want to tell nice. the person you love. You want to tell your friends. Yeah. Sure. And that's yeah. true. Just like, um, you know, some people, I look at it like whoever I'm in love with, at that point, that's my best friend. Mm, type shit you know like yeah, yeah definitely like that's my partner in life like mm -hmm. a lot of people they'll say like oh yeah you can find someone else yeah you can find someone else but i know i remember like how we but talked not like her a hairline <laughs> stop 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 <laughs> It wasn't, it wasn't for you, KP. It, it wasn't even for you, bro. It's a fact. His shit is receding right now, too. We, uh, we got to show you the fact. I'm going to show you the video. Right now I'm going to show you the video. You're going to wait. You're going to wait. You're going to wait. That's why the hat is on. Oh, my God. That's why the hat is on. Oh, my God. No, man, nigga, I look good. Tell him. Tell him. I really wasn't trying to go. I really was I really was just sick, bro. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Baby ass beard, fuck out of here. Yo, that's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, bro. Hey, yo. <laughs> yo, I've been growing up for like 50 years, man. This, this thing said, yup, long term strategies. <laughs> In the case may be, you your queen beefing. She goes out and you see on the blogs that she's with another oh. man. Oh. <laughs> From the internet, you find out. Uh, she got the money. And, and he don't. Yeah. And things is happening. Like, I mean, well, first of all, they, I, I know what I'm willing to deal with and whoever is interacting with me on that level or like on, on a serious personal relationship mm -hmm. level, you know what I come, what I bring or what I come with. You know what I mean? Like I know what I can tolerate, what can I accept, what I can live with and what I cannot. You do something like that, clip. I ain't got time to waste. No time. Clip. No yeah, yeah, just brother. like that. Clip. I ain't got time to waste. No time. There's bigger pictures at play. He had his articles. He no, that. Like, no time. <laughs> <laughs> no, yes, no sir. Time. This no time. Yeah. <laughs> like, because, no time. Like, like, the way my life Clips. is set up and what I think my purpose is here is about contributing to the, to the, to life, man, in itself. So I'm, everything I'm making or decisions I'm making is at least 10 years, 15, 20. I'm making decisions for three generations. I mm -hmm. live backwards. I don't live forward. Mm -hmm. You get me? So... Me and myself don't really matter. I don't even make my own decisions no more. My purpose and values make my choices. And that's why it's, what I do is so like different, that. and people can't do it the same way I do it because that's, that's, that's me. You know what I mean? So I'm looking at bigger picture, making decisions for bigger picture, and if you think what we have, you want to put that at risk for something like that, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. You can have that. I can't control you. That's not, you know what I mean? That's, that's not my bad. But you know, like. Peace and tranquility. I'd be hurt. I, I, be, I ain't going to lie. I'd be hurt. <laughs> yeah, hell, hell yeah. Of hell yeah. Of course. Hell yeah. I'm definitely of course. sick. I have it. I'm like, damn. You really going to do that to me? <laughs> me? You know who the fuck I am? <laughs> but you know, got to right. choose peace. And like you said, you're going to cry. You're going to have days where nobody's going to buy your product. You're going to yeah. have days where everybody buys your product. Yeah. For mm -hmm. example, look at um, the person who owns the ring camera he went on shark tank and he got denied by everybody yeah, got yeah. now every every house has a ring camera bro yeah. right every up. house almost every house has a ring camera that's ridiculous it it is wild. you got to keep going yeah ridiculous. your vision is yours like the people you can't show people like just take it out your head and show them like hey look this is what i'm really working on so mm -hmm. you it's going to take time for people to come around so you if you believe in it and you're doing it from the right place it's, with the yep. right reasons bro entrepreneurship is all about problem solving that's it you know the yep. second you start just thinking money you lose the art 
Mm. You know what I mean? What problems the people that make solved. yeah, the people that make the most money or do the, or, or, or do well are the ones that are solving the most problems. It's that simple. So you focus on solving problems and helping people get what they need and what they want out of life. By default, you're gonna be the most successful and the most rewarded. Because you know, some people, some people could actually be. Say some people are like they're like they're good for you in the sense that like they're a good friend or whatever the case may be, but they're not growing. Mm -hmm. So they could be a good friend for you, but they're not inspiring you. So we said this on an earlier episode that got redacted. Like, but not everybody acting <laughs> now. <laughs> niggas Big words, niggas you know I mean? backing out words right. now. <laughs> <laughs> Not everybody can go, you feel me? Sometimes yeah, facts. Like some Nip people said, gotta yeah. stay right where they at. I know that for oh my gosh. I, I tried I tried <laughs> yeah. bringing so many people with me mm -hmm. and I almost lost myself in that yeah. process. Bro, uh -huh. I left a lot of people at MetLife. A lot of people got left at MetLife. Too. Women included. Yeah. Right on that stage. <laughs> I, I think as as humans, bro, bro, we it's like, like no like when we find something out or we find a good bit of information, we want to we want to share it, right? We want to yeah, share it with the yeah. people we mm -hmm. care about. Like, hey, look, I, I got this. I got you. This is a shortcut. And everybody grows and matures at a different rate, so you can't fault them for it. You yeah. know what I mean? When you're young, you can't see that far. We're wiser now because we're older. Life taught mm -hmm. us that. That's why we teach life and not money. You know what I mean? So sometimes you just got to you, you, you do what you do. Let God sort out the rest. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you make sure that you're always accessible and available when people need your help. And never never knock somebody for their decision making because we, we're not perfect. You know, True. we all come from somewhere.